All right, Dean Davison, Storm Surge LLC meteorologist. Time for a update here at 5:15. We're taking a look at the 5 p.m. update. You can see where the storm can come in right now. It looks like between Cape May and Sandy Hook. I'm getting more confident that will be the landfall location. New York City is at the cutoff point, but New York City will have a lot of issues coming up here um, with storm surge, and so will Delaware Bay and everywhere else. Um, we're going to have major issues with water. Water is going to rise. We're talking about 5 to 10 feet of water rise likely in the Delaware Bay and in possibly more in the Long Island Sound and in New York City. We're going to see water rise that will get up in the Grand Cookies Creek, Google, and any tidal chain that's along the Delaware Bay and Delaware River of a highly increased, probably a seven foot increase projected right now in the Delaware River in Philadelphia. So that's a lot of water. And we're also looking at Central heavy, heavy rain, which will flood areas. We're already seeing coastal flushing down in New Jersey and all the way down here to Norfolk, Virginia, and a couple of dunes have been compromised in uh, North Carolina. So this is a major issue, and we've got to really be careful. And um, coming up, I hope your plans are, are finished. Um, and I hope you guys are walking down. If you're along the coast, I hope you're evacuated because um, once the wind gets at a certain level, the emergency services will not come and get you. So. I hope people took this seriously. So Hurricane Sandy, still 75 mile an hour hurricane, into the Gulf Stream, and we'll take a look now at a satellite image. See the time circulation located in that general area. We have storms fired up around it, and it's just going to become a massive storm as it moves to the north, and then to the northwest and the west into New Jersey, which is all just back to the west. High winds will occur, and we're actually looking at winds 30 to 40 miles an hour, gusting to 70 range, possibly even in here in Roanoke Valley, here in Southwest Virginia, and in western. West Virginia, we're talking about snow up to two feet. This is a complex storm with storm surge, isolated tornadoes, heavy rain, winds over, gusting over 100 possibly in the landfalling location, and the snow on the back end. So, lots to consider here, the issues that we want to consider. Wakefield, Virginia, here. Here's our radar data here in Wakefield. You can see rain along the coast, some winds picking up. The winds and rains are already picking up here. On the coast, you see pretty substantial winds pushing in now. And this is the Wakefield office um, to the east of Roanoke. But the Outer Banks getting pounded, so southeast Virginia is just going up the coast. So, a couple of things we need to watch out for potential for the damage. We'll get into a more thorough forecast later tonight. I want to remind you, we have another uh, Block Talk Radio at 10 o'clock tonight. I hope you can join us and call in. Dean D. Davison, the forecaster at liveweatherblog.com, from Sir Jalal